Hey guys, welcome to Motion RC Live. I'm your product specialist, Wesley, and today we are going to be checking out the Nexa SBD Dauntless. It's an airplane I've wanted to see for a while and got lucky enough that my buddy Jerry picked one up and he was like, hey, you want to go on and do the unboxing and build it and fly it like normal for me? I was like, heck yeah, I will. So uh, we're going to get to enjoy this one together. There's a couple of these left in stock. I don't foresee they're going to last very long. So if you like what you're seeing today, I highly recommend you go on and order it because they won't last very long right now. <laughs> I do have a, an NGH motor here also because this can be electric or gas. Now I am building it on the electric 30cc equivalent, but for customers that wanted to see it, I did actually happen to have one setting here. This is one of the only ones I haven't put on anything yet. But if you haven't seen one of our NGH gas motors. We do have these available here also if you wanted to build it on gas. But we are not going to be doing that today. So let's not stick around too long here. Let's get into this thing because we got a big, big box. Oh, and the other thing that's going to be a little bit different is we were out of retract, so he ordered the, uh, uh, what are these? The, uh, um, uh, Robart retracts for it. So Robart actually has a set of specific retracts for this model. If you are building it and you wanted to do the suspension upgraded struts, they're very nice. Uh, so we're going to be using these uh, Robart upgrade retracts on the Dauntless today also. So without further ado, let me slide this humongous box over here. This is one of the largest Nexa models available in the category right now. Uh, and it's huge. I gotta figure out how to open this box. Yeah, assistance. Hiya! We're gonna try and get rid of this box here in a minute, but holy cow, is it huge. My beautiful assistant. All right, let's see here. Let me get my tape cutter. How's everybody doing today? Just trying to check everybody. Seth, what is up? Yes, we do have the best job on the planet. I will agree with you. Not fight you a bit on that. Wild Bill, what's up, man? Victor Shamulus, Victor RC. Good to see everybody today. Uh, I'm also trying a little bit different microphone, so hopefully y'all can hear us a little better today. Uh, a lot of guys were wanting me to try a lapel mic, so I fired one up today to see if y'all could hear me a little better. Plus, now I can walk all over the room, and uh, it should be able to hear me the same way. So, let's see here. Getting into the box, we have our manual. Uh, there you go. We have our decals, and our repair patch material is already in here, so it gives you a couple different pieces of the repair patch material. If you've done any of our Nexa models, uh, they most all of them come with that repair material, just in case you do have a ding. Set that off to the side. There you go, Jeremy Carler. Carler? Carter. Hard to read it. I'm looking way down there, but hey, he's in Ocala, wants to come fly at Larks. Heck yeah, come on, come out and fly with us. We always love the more the merrier. Now, I'm going to take my time cutting all the tape the airplane is definitely very well taped in to the box i know right now all y'all are seeing is this giant box i guess what i could do real quick so you can see it before i cut all the tape out show you how it's packaged hi -ya! oh there you go so there's how it comes all pre-packed i look tiny compared to this airplane it's huge this is a big one. Yes, 81 inch wingspan. This is going to be a very, very respectable model. Getting close to the size of some of our Black Horse models. I actually think the Zero is 83 inches, if I remember right. So it's right up there. Like I said, guys, take your time taking everything out of the box. A lot of tape here, but we don't want to accidentally put a knife through one of our components. I'm going to just slowly start getting these out. Once we get everything out of the box, then we'll unpackage it all once we can get rid of this giant box. But I know a lot of guys want to see it as it comes right out of the box here. And unfortunately, we can't do a build today because this build's probably going to take me several days. But uh, keep an eye on Instagram, Facebook, all those places. I like to show it. 
uh, a lot of wood components here. Not sure what a lot of them are gonna do yet until I get to the instructions and start building them, but it looks like part of it is firewall, battery trays. There's a tail hook, a lot of laser etched components there. And uh, I know when Jerry said he ordered this airplane, he ordered all the electronics, so they should be in the box also. Anybody that's ever ordered some spare parts from us know they package everything in the, the box with your order usually. Trying to get in here. Yeah, hopefully everybody's having a good day. Yeah, like I said, the retracts are not in stock right now, but if you were gonna get it, like I said, um, Robart actually has a set of retracts for this specific airplane also you can get if you wanna get yours built right now. Uh, they're a little more expensive, but it'll get it done. I tell you what, they must have killed a whole roll of tape putting this stuff together. So we'll open all these individually here in a minute. We're just trying to get everything unpackaged. And there you go, there's our first part that was hidden in the box. Uh, like I said, our warehouse team, if you order the airplane and you order all the parts on the website, they're gonna package them in the airplane also. So this is the propeller. This does not come in the kit. But like I said, whenever you order your airplane, you can just go down a la carte on the website and say, I want the prop, I want the motor, and they're gonna package it all in the airplane box for you. Shaves on shipping, and there's one less thing to get lost in the mail if it all comes as one big box. Now, it does come with the fixed landing gear uh, if you don't want retracts. You can also always do that. hi -ya! There's our cowling, uh, the bomb, fuel tanks, wheels. Like I said, we'll get into that more once we get everything out of the box here and are able to lay it out on the table. Mike Bird, what's up, man? Trying to make sure I don't miss anybody as y'all get in. David Schneider. Probably a JP set that'll probably fit it, yep. As far as the retracts go, there's lots of options. Uh, you could even do a set of X-Waves. We have the X-Waves options in here. I haven't checked them to make sure that uh, the struts that come with the airplane fit in the X-Waves, but we can here in a minute if I find them. Uh, we can fit them into it. Elevator. All right, trying to get to the big part here. I'm getting down into the meat and potatoes now. We're gonna get rid of this box momentarily. <laughs> that's some good tape in here oh man i just saw the wing it's pretty they come with all the rivet details already done i love on the vq or not vq uh uh what the heck are these nexa sorry brain's not working on the nexa model how they all come with the rivet details already done on them right out of the box I'm cutting. There's a lot of tape. A lot. They didn't want this to move in shipping, that's for sure. All right, there we go. Getting Have a good sharp razor blade when you get one of these planes so you can get it out of the box. I'm getting to the big part here though. It would be a shame, I agree. All right, I made it. I got it, there it is. Oh man, and it's got nice pilots in it. Uh, like I said, we're gonna unwrap this here just in a second uh, once I get rid of this box, but you can see this is gonna be a good size model. And like I said, it's already got all the rivet details done. This is gonna be so sweet. All right, let's see. Did I flip my microphone over? Flip. All right. We're getting down to the end of it where we can start laying it on the table here. Got to get the wings out still yet. But we are getting those now. I'm interested too. I've never set up an airplane with the dive brakes that this airplane comes with, where your flaps can open and then your flaps and the dive brakes open. 
I am very interested to see how that's going to feel and in the air too. Tape of Palooza here. Jeez. Got it. Nothing's damaged though. That's right. All bubble wrapped. There's the wings. Like I said, we're going to take those out of the box here in just a moment and check them all out. There we go. Said that new microphone, trying it out. Okay, now there's a center section of the wing. So it looks like you've got a three piece wing on this one. This is my first time seeing it with you guys too. Uh, it's one I've been wanting to see for quite a while. Can't wait to start checking this out here in just a second though with all the tape gone. All right, there is our, oops, nope, another tape. Center section of the wing. Yeah, got it. There it is, our center section. You can see the uh, places for the retracts to go already. There's hatches. There's our dive brake and flap option. Very cool. And I think all that's left is the spar, and then we can get rid of this darn huge box. I don't know, you guys let me know next time I do one of these big ones, because I also have the Black Horse FW190 to do. Do y'all prefer me to take it out of the box as you see it, or would you rather me just have it all laid out on the table? I can do it either way. At the end of the day, I'm doing this for you guys. What makes it the best for you? experience. All right, let's get that box out of the way. I never throw the box away until I'm done building the airplane though, because there's been many times that I'm like, oh, I'm missing one little piece and it ends up being in the bottom of the box. So never throw your box away until you're done with your build, or you for sure know it's all out of there. All right, so let's pull this over here now and we can start really checking this bad boy out. All right, now I am gonna grab my uh, carpet that you guys have seen me use in the past as we untape and unbox this so that we don't damage the airplane as we're rolling it around on the table uh, until we can get it into an airplane stand. But while we're doing this, now I can just set it there, won't hurt a thing. Gonna hear a lot of taping in this one. All right. Am I gonna build it live? No. Uh, I will, like I always do, if you follow us over on Instagram, Facebook, I'll probably do updates throughout the build over there. Uh, but the next time you see it here on the YouTube channel will probably be when I'm flying it. Uh, not to say there won't be a short or something here and there as I'm working on it. But yeah, doing a full build video on these uh, larger airplanes is just it's challenging. Heck, it's, it takes long enough to get all the plastic off of them. Pretty cool, though. This is a beautiful model. I can't wait for you to see this. I mean, I can see it through the packaging right now. I know you guys can't. But uh, tons and tons of details already. I can see rivet detail everywhere. Oh yeah. Oh, y'all like it like this? All right, all right, hey. That's how y'all like it, that's how I'm gonna keep doing them. Fun getting to check them out together like this. I'm going to keep the knife away for now. This is just bubble wrap and I'm going to just rip this stuff off. That way I know I don't damage anything with my knife as I go to town on this thing. Uh, I don't know if it's on the website, the scale. We could do the math though. Uh, you just Google what the actual length of the wingspan is on the real airplane. And then, uh, 
you divide it by, or wait, you multiply it times 12, then you divide it by however many inches the airplane is, and that will give you your scale. Guys, look at this thing. Wow, the, the interior on it too. Let's see, I might need some Lori help here in a second uh, to kind of take a look around in the airplane. Uh, the glass uh, is not attached on the rear deck, uh, so you are going to be able to go on in here. And there are uh, guns and other pieces that go inside of the rear canopy. Uh, so this is not attached from the factory. Now, the front is actually screwed on, which I love to see. This isn't glued on. I don't glue my canopies on. If you've ever watched any of the airplanes that I've put together with my father, uh, we screw our canopies on. So if your pilot comes loose or you want to add detail later, you just unscrew the seven screws off of here, take it off, then you can get in there and do whatever you want. Whereas if you glue it on there, it can get to be a nightmare to get them off and on. So I love this when they're screwed on. Uh, it looks like the front hatch is, and this is set up to be gas or electric. So you do have a nice big hatch. Let me see if I can peel this off and show it to you. I said, we'll get Lori on the zoomer here in a second, too. There it is. Just carefully pull that masking tape off so we don't damage anything. Uh, and let's see, I believe this is going to just lift out. Yep, there we go. It's just a little stuck. Trying to figure out how this lifts off of here. Just like that. There we go, so there is our front hatch, and it is magnetic. Interesting, I was wondering how that was locked in there. So, tons of room for battery placement, fuel tank, uh, any of your internal stuff, but there is your canopy. Let's see if we can get them a good shot down the middle there. I'm looking up here. Now we can really start exploring this model, so. Look at the beautiful dashboard on it, too. There you go, come on in. Look at that, guys. Beautiful instrument panel. Uh, yeah, and the dash goes way down on the inside, too, by his legs. RC busted uh, props. These are available at motionrc.com. I believe we currently have five left in stock that they're going to sell quickly right now, but we always get more uh, if this is something you're interested in. Uh, these have been around for a little bit, but we just had the chance to do an unboxing finally on it, and I had to check it out. Uh, beautiful pilot, too, right out of the box. Y'all can see him. There you go. Lori's going to come back up here, and we'll zoom it. Yeah, I'm keeping an eye on the comments, too. There we go. There you go, guys. Good looking pilot, though. I mean, honestly, a pretty darn good looking one. And you can see they zinc chromated the whole inside. There is another pilot back here in the rear. We'll get to him in just a minute. Uh, and also, while she zoomed in there, you can see all the rivet detail that comes right on the airplane out of the box. Oh, got to give it a little focus. Still going down it. Look at that. Isn't that such a good looking airplane? Inner diameter of the cowl. When I get the cowl out, remind me and we will try and give you a measurement of that again. There's a real good look of that. Awesome. All right, you can come on back. Let's keep kind of looking around. All right, so like I said, this is just magnetic and I had to get used to this. So it just lifts straight up and down. I was trying to bring it out at an angle that actually just goes straight up and down like that. There we go. Uh, we could take a peek at our back gunner. I'm going to keep my tape that I'm taking off right here because we're going to probably stick it right back on so this cowling to our canopy doesn't fall off constantly on us as we're manipulating this airplane here in a minute. So like I said, I will probably add eight screws, four on each side of this to where I can take it on and off with ease. And these are crystal clear. I mean, they're very clear canopies. Uh, let's take a look at our rear gunner real quick, though. See what he looks like. See the same figure or different? That's the question. 
find out momentarily. They're actually really good looking pilots though. So I'm gonna keep my little bit of tape so we can stick that back on. I love the little gun turret detail. Wow, he's heavier than I thought he was. Little pilot's got a little heft to him. Can't tell. I think he's very similar. Ooh, don't throw him. I think he's made out of pewter. Uh, it does not come with a bomb drop. It does come with the bomb and the sling, so I'm sure a customer that is uh, willing to could make a bomb drop happen. There is our rear one. Uh, the only difference I can see is he doesn't have a gun or a stick in his hand, whereas the pilot has the stick in his hand. But uh, pretty close, pretty similar. Probably put him in there the other way where he's looking out like that. Very cool. Uh, and of course, there's a gun that goes out of the back and all kinds of other pieces. Uh, and I know a lot of guys will probably take and cut this and slide it back so it looks like it's open also. So any other questions I've missed trying to check what's it made of? It's made out of balsa. Uh, this is a wood airplane. Uh, I don't know if you could see it well, here a second ago. Or actually, I could probably just turn it up. Let you see the inside of it from here. There you go. This is a balsa airplane. <laughs> oh, oh, the shades of blue. Uh, I will tell you, though, I mean, it's just a standard naval airplane. Testers has been making uh, airplane model paint forever, and it's very close to this. So this would be navy blue. And then I forget what the lighter one would be called. Uh, but they actually have a testers model uh, maker kit that comes with these three, four colors for a naval airplane all in one bottle. Yeah, sky blue, that might be what it's called. I don't remember off the top of my head what the actual color would be. Yeah, anyway, so there is our first piece out. Uh, I really like that they also notched this. So this looks like a sticker probably on camera, but this is actually recessed in there. There you go. Lori's going to try and just zoom it real quick. Is it better if I hold it up? But the... Uh, cow flap there is actually a recess which is pretty cool looking i like that a lot of very good looking uh details on this airplane so far uh the tail is just stuck on for now anyway let's get to the next piece though uh spars i y'all don't need to see me open all the spars do you that's right it's motion blue I'm going to just set that guy right over there for now. And let's get to the center section of the wing. Make sure my little mic. Oh, okay. Well, here, hang on. Let me get a stand. Now that we've got it all out of the package, I can do this. Get my Ernst Ultra Stand, available here at Motion RC also. Ernst. Or this is the Mega Stand. All right, there we go. We'll move that guy over there and we'll get to the center section of the wing now. Very fun. Motion blue. That's right. I actually have all three of the motion colors. I went and had them paint matched, mixed at uh, uh, the local Ace Hardware. And uh, that's how we did the background there. So, and I, I made a custom color at uh, Ace Hardware. I think they can make it anywhere in the country now. It's actually called Motion Blue. There's three of them. Yeah, anyway. Try and get into this. First, we got to get the outer thick plastic off. Once again, I'm keeping my razor blade away. It's just tearing. That way I know I don't destroy my wing. Uh, there's nothing worse than opening your brand new model and accidentally nicking it with a razor blade. It hurts so bad.
There we go. Now we can check out the uh, dive brakes too, which is gonna be pretty cool here. It looks like they're fitted. I'm sure they're not glued in yet, more than likely. Um, and it looks like it's already got pre-made marks for the bombs down here on the bottom to attach. Oh man, this is beautiful. This is a really pretty airplane. I know I sound biased, I work here, but this is a beautiful airplane. So here is our dive brakes, and I love that they're already painted red right out of the box for you, just like the real airplane. How cool is that, the old cheese graters down there? Look at that. How cool is that? And it's nice, this is all hinged and everything's done for you right out of the box. I am curious to see what the other ones look like. Oh, that's kind of cool too. It's got a very distressed look on the top of the wing. Uh, one thing I've done is I did another airplane uh, from Nexa that was like this, and all the distressing is white. And what I did is just went in over it with a silver paint pen, um, like one of these. This, right, this was just something I did on mine, and, and you can do this too, but it's just a silver arts and crafts uh, paint pen. And I went in there and just dotted over top of the white with a silver, and man, it really makes it pop. And every once in a while, if you'll take a little zinc chromate color too, you can actually get zinc chromate color uh, from Vallejo uh, off of Amazon. And if you get that paint, you kind of touch that around in here, and man, it really adds a lot to your, your big balsa airplanes if you'll do that little bit of distressing on it. But that's what all this uh, white is right here, is to give it a distressed look on the wing where the guy was getting up and down and walking on the wing. So very cool to see that. Uh, a lot of these models now are coming with a lot of nice features like that. And once again, it's got all the rivets uh, and panel lines pre-done for you right on there on your center section. Same thing for the bottom side. Uh, you've got your inspection hatches. Uh, you have your real inspection hatches. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what's going to go. Oh, that's going to be for the dive brake. That's going to be your servo hatch uh, for that one. Um, and, you know, I'm not really sure on a Dauntless if these are opened one direction for a flap and then open the outer panels just for the dive brake. I'll have to look at that and see. I've got to do a little research on this. Uh, it's always been a really cool airplane, the uh, dive bombers, but uh, yeah, very cool. And I love, I love that they painted the inside of the wing that zinc chromate too. That's something I do on all of my models, so it's so nice that it's just coming out of the box done for you now. And like I said, that red finish looks so good. Uh, just trying to keep up with the comments to make sure if I miss anything. Uh, Y'all let me know. We are definitely here to answer questions for you. I'm going to set that center section off for a second. And we're going to grab that next component, large component, which will be our winged halves. And we will start trying to get into this one. All right, I'm going to cut this one because there's so much tape on it just to where I can get it started. There we go. I haven't seen another comment in a while. Making sure it was still running there. Hopefully everybody's having a wonderful Tuesday afternoon. Thank you for joining us here at Motion RC. Flap. That's what I was curious as if I was curious about that. So there's going to be some mixing to do on this one. It's going to be pretty cool. But now we're going to get to actually check out those split flaps. Uh, it's very cool. They're already in here. Uh, looks like all the hatches and everything are pre-cut for you. Quite a bit of hatches out here on these wing panels. Once again, I'm just going to rip into it instead of trying to cut this off. Makes life easier to me. And then you can just slide it off. Really loving the color of this airplane, too. All right, I got to check it out. So I got to take the tape off and see what this looks like. I know all of you do, too. You want to see this part. So let me get the uh, split flaps untaped so we can check them out. I may regret that for storage <laughs> until we get the servos in it.
So I do see there's two servos in the wing. So yeah, like you said, it must open one direction for flaps and then one opens the other section for dive brakes, which will be pretty darn cool. So here we go. All right. Now we can check it out. So I'd be flaps and then dive brakes. How cool is that? I love that they're painted red. That's <laughs> cool. <laughs> Working but listening. Hey, Victor, thanks for checking it out today. But yeah, there you go. Look at that. And I love that they're all pre-done for you. Let's see, are they actually glued? No, the hinges are not glued yet, but they are all keyed and done for you to where all we're going to have to do is epoxy those in. Um, and these are the style where you could... I'll pull one out real quick and just show you. Going to have to pull them out to glue them in anyway. So these are the style. If you've never done these before, you epoxy it in. Here, she's going to come zoom in. And I, I believe I showed you this on our Black Horse uh, Quick Tip Wing Assembly. Oh, those were Dubrow. You're right. I'm thinking of the last Nexo plane we put together, and I guess I didn't film this. Maybe I will do one on this one. So on this style of hinge, the way this works is... Okay, there you go. So the way this works is there's like six holes in here. I never fill all of them. I only do one. So what you're meant to do, though, is you put your epoxy on here, you put it in the hole, and then you drill a hole into the wood itself, and you put a toothpick down through it. And you glue that toothpick in, and that keeps this from ever being able to pull out. Uh, but as you can see, it's got all the little holes in it. Uh, so if you're really good, you can hit them, but I never end up hitting them. I just try and drill right for the middle of it and put one right in the middle of it. And one toothpick will hold the world on these things once you get three of these hinges in there. But that's what those are actually meant to do. A lot of guys just glue them in. Uh, it feels like they actually are glued into one side. I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, I think they might actually already be hinged and glued. Oh, they are. So this side is already glued in on the uh, split flap itself. But yeah, and then you've got ball links to connect them. Very cool. Let me see if I can slide that back in. So it should just key back into the holes. They're pre-made for you, which will make this easy. And I always rock the 30 minute epoxy when I'm doing this. So you got lots of time to wiggle and move things around until you're really ready uh, for it to be there. Uh, now we can check out the bottom of the wing. So there it is. Uh, you can see it's got all these inspection hatches already pre-drawn onto it for you, all over it. Uh, the real airplane, this would actually be a hole right here. So this is one part that didn't get modeled. Uh, this is a hole in the wing on the real airplane that lets air go through, um, kind of like a slat uh, for the leading edge. But on here, it's just a printed uh, picture. But I'm sure it made the airplane fly better to leave them off is why they left them off. Sometimes in RC, you sacrifice a little bit of scale to get a lot better flying airplane. There's the bottom, and now we can get you the top. Once again, they're drawn on, on the top also. Those little holes. Very cool. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. It is. It's, it is super. And it's going to be a good size model when this is all put together, too. All right. And uh, real quickly, we can open the other wing. It's going to be the same as this wing, other than the star will be on the top instead of the bottom. But we'll check it out. We're here hanging out, right? There's our other wing. I'm not going to untape this one. The split flap will be the same on this one, or dive brakes uh, is on the other side. But there's your other wing. Looking beautiful. Uh, I may even be able to slide the spar in and we could take a look at the full wing. Give me just a second. 
Hang on. We'll slide the spar in. Get a look at how the actual whole wing looks. Now I haven't put all, there, there's gonna be pieces that have to glue in here that help key it together and make it uh, to where it doesn't do this. And I haven't done that yet, of course, we haven't built the airplane. But just for giggles, we'll slide it together so you can get a look at the, how big the wing actually is and what it looks like all together. There you go. Good size airplane here, now that it's all there. Very good size airplane. And then once again, we can try and do this on the parts that are open. So there would be your flaps. There would be another one on Lori's side. I've got it still taped together. Oh, you can let that go. So there's your flaps. And then, oops, the dive brake would be there. And of course, the other side would do the same. Are the inside of the flaps red? Yes, they come just like you're seeing it. I literally just took it out of the box. This is how the flaps and the dive brakes are right out of the box. And they already have the uh, um, ball links installed on them. Uh, all the hinges are pre-done for you right out of the box. We're just gonna have to glue them. And I'm hitting something over here. I don't wanna break it. Ah, okay, there we go. I didn't want to push on that too hard and break it. Uh, and like I said, there's going to be the little uh, nubs that are going to glue in here that actually push the two wing halves together too, unless they have uh, screws there, which they may. I don't know. Like I said, I haven't even looked at the manual yet. We're going to figure it out. But there is the full wing, so y'all can see it. I mean, it's a good size airplane. <laughs> Big airplane. It's the correct call. It a split flap. Yeah. Can't keep it all straight. Everybody gets mad at me and all that. Uh, wingspan is 81 inches on this. Like I said, there's still a few left in stock last time we checked. Uh, I imagine they won't be around much longer after today. Uh, normally when we show one of these airplanes, they kind of sell out pretty quick. So four left. There you go. One went away. There was five when we started. So somebody's already checked one out. Let's see, where can I set this at to where it does not get damaged? Here you go. Here's a stand. And you can go set it on a stand. We're going to move the wing off the table for a minute here so it doesn't get damaged. There you go, Miss Lori. Perfect. And like I said, if you want to keep up with this, I'm going to try and post pictures and just what I'm doing over on Instagram and Facebook. If you don't follow us there, I try and keep up when we're doing a build, what's going on. Assembly, everybody will get mad if I call this a build, an assembly. But I try and keep up with that over there. Uh, and then I usually do a YouTube short or such just to kind of keep people up to date um, on the airplane as I'm going. So let's check out the... Uh, elevator or the uh, horizontal stabilizer. I'll take one. There you go. Well, get on it because they're going to be sold out pretty quick, I have a feeling. We'll get more as always. Uh, we've had two, sh two or three shipments of the Dauntless now. Uh, it's been a pretty popular airplane. Uh, we also have a Banshee, uh, which is a different version of this airplane. If you're interested in that, it comes in green instead of the uh, blue. But yeah, the Dauntless, if I, for me, you gotta get the blue. When you think of a Dauntless, you think of the blue. And uh, like I said, this is actually a customer's airplane. Uh, so it's not like I'm getting a special one or anything. He ordered it right from the website. My buddy Jerry, you guys have seen him. He uh, does uh, a few different events. He actually ran the Motion RC Fly-In last year, and he also does uh, Florida E-Jets and a couple other things. But anyway, he ordered this, and he was like, Wes, you want to check it out and show everybody before uh, you put it together? I was like, heck yeah, I'll do it. It's been a lot of fun.
who knows? Maybe we'll have this one ready. We're planning on going to Bomber Field, me and Jerry, as uh, my vacation this year and go to the Gathering of the Giants. So I'm working on a special project right now for that one. But there is our elevator half, or elevator, full elevator. Easy to weather, get some, something popped up on my screen so I can't read the comment. Go away. Yeah, Chris, this is a beautiful airplane. Super happy with it. Yeah, so once again, I love the two-tone too, between the top and the bottom. Beautiful, but you got all the rivet detail again. Uh, panel lines are all on there. So it's all done for you. pre papa dotted. Probably. Uh, so somebody asked if we would Loctite all the gear. And once again, uh, we don't have a set of gear in stock currently for it, but uh, I believe the Dubros are still in stock. These are the Dubro style, uh, and they come with the... There's the Dubro ones. So if you're getting the airplane right now and you don't want to wait for our uh, Retrex to come back in stock, there is that option if you wanted those. Who knows? Maybe we'll bring the Dubros in stock here. We're a dis Dubro distributor also. Don't know. That would be a, a question for a higher up than me. Now, uh, somebody earlier wanted to know the size of the cowling. I got the cowling now, so I will try and throw some measurements on this thing momentarily. Lori, would you hand me a tape measure? What'd you say? Oh, okay. So there is our cowling. Uh, it's got the recesses here for the guns. Thank you, ma'am. All right. So for the person that was asking about the cowling, from the front to the back is just shy of six and a half on the cowling. Now, I don't have it mounted on the airplane. You're going to lose a little bit because you're going to have the actual... Uh, firewall and the mounting point to your motor on the front, but that is your depth to the front of the cow. Now, across eight inches, yeah, I would say a solid eight inches. It's it's kind of more of an oval, so it's it's eight and a half at the bottom. It's eight across, but hopefully whoever was looking for that earlier can get that now. We do have a gas recommendation on the product page. Yes, yes we do. And it's setting right here. Ta-da! So if you want one, we uh, have the NGH motors for our Nexa and Black Horse line of airplanes. But here is the NGH motor for this airplane. I happen to just have it. There you go. And I set it out just in case anybody wanted to know. I actually just put the NGH60cc on the Corsair. Now, the Corsair has been down and out for a little bit. Uh, I was waiting on some parts. We've had a lot of other things going on, uh, but it is very close to being flying. So you should be seeing the Black Horse Corsair very soon here at Emotion RC. Uh, it's been built for quite a while. Just had other things going on, unfortunately, but it happens. No flight video yet. Nope, nope. Just got it. Can't fly it if I'm taking it out of the box. There's your... Uh, I have the electric motor for this. We're going to be going electric on this. Uh, I'm building it for a friend of mine, and he wants it electric also. There's your uh, dummy radial up in the front, uh, which I haven't found it yet, but I know the motor and the servos and everything are in here somewhere. Maybe they're in this. That nah, feels way too light. I don't know. Oh, no, you know what? I bet they're in here. So, like I said, when you order an airplane from us, if you also order all your electronics right off that product page, you know, it'll say you can use the Admiral 30cc and the Gecko. I don't even know what's on this one. Probably uh, 100, if I had to guess. 120. There you go. 
Uh, you can put all that a la carte as you order your airplane, and then they're going to package it in the box the airplane comes in. I bet you this is it. Yep, here it is. I found it. So this was the box. Now, one thing I was going to say, it does come with suspension struts. So if you wanted to do this, and I've done it on another model before, we can double check to make sure they actually fit. I've used these X-Wave retracts on these Nexa planes, and they've been fantastic. And uh, more than likely, they're going to fit the pin diameter of these. Well, we can find out together because I have a set right here. Let me just pull them out. And these are beautiful. If you haven't checked out the X-Wave retracts here at Motion RC, uh, we are the only distributor of these. These are our in-house brand. As you can see, they even come with the little Motion RC logo on the side of them, but the X-Waves, these are some premium retracks. I've used these in a few models now, have yet to have a single one go out on me. But all aluminum. Uh, but for a customer that wanted to, you could use the struts that come in the kit. Here are the struts. They're actually pretty nice, too. These are the struts that actually come in the kit. And uh, like I said, yes, they will fit. Boom. So if you got you a set of X waves, you could put them right on there and you can use the factory struts if you don't want to buy something different. And these are pretty reasonably priced too. So there you go. There is your X wave retract set. And the stock suspension. And they work pretty good. So there is the actual suspension struts that come with it. Now it comes with the mounts to use these as fixed landing gear. But nobody wants to do that. So if you order a set of X-Waves, you can use the factory struts. Uh, if you want to go upgraded, there are other brands of struts and things around to get that. And they like said, this one's not... What's that? Yeah, these are the R... RM400-90. There you go. Dropping a link for anybody that's looking for them. Great retracts, though. I used these in the Black Horse um, Dornia, the DO-335. Uh, I used three of these, uh, and you just leave the center one loose for a nose steering wheel. Uh, so we have three of these in for the nose, one for the nose and two for the mains. Uh, what else do we use this in? I think I used these in the Nexa P47 when I put that together. And I'm trying to remember, there's another airplane. I've used these in several airplanes now. I've been very happy with them though. So anyway, but I have a set of them here uh, because I was gonna put them in. Oh no, I bought these for the Nexa P47 and I haven't put them in there yet. That was what it was. So I have a set of these right now for it. But yeah, they would totally fit in this airplane. No issue if you wanted to use the factory strut. Uh, so we got from the uh, recommended page, this is the Admiral GP26 motor going into it also. Uh, if you haven't seen one of our Admiral motors, they come out uh, all pre-built for you. They're very nice looking motors. They're premium. There's the motor though. Almost, yeah. Actually, funny enough, I have the Robart one sitting behind me and if I put them beside each other, they'd probably be pretty close. Only difference is, is the other brand is white. Uh, got all the servos. Like I said, these are right off the product page. Uh, HS82MGs. Uh, these are going to be my wing servos. Uh, and then you have uh, your elevator servos or the bigger ones, the HS645 uh, metal gears. Uh, these are going to be for your elevators, uh, rudder, uh, and aileron. Yeah, rudders, elevator, and aileron, you're going to use the bigger servos, then the smaller ones are going to be for all the split flaps, the dive brakes, that kind of stuff. But yes, so there you go. To answer the question, if you order this airplane with all the electronics, you get them in the kit like this, just like I did. If you order it without them, uh, you won't get that box in yours. There you go. Uh, what else to check out? What else to check out? I think we've just about got there. There's the rudder. I guess that's the last little piece that we haven't opened. We can open that, though. 
And then guys, if y'all have any questions, this is a great time to start letting me know. We're kind of coming up to the end of this. But uh, yeah, if you have questions, this is a great time to let me know. You want to know anything about any of the other Nexa models? Uh, I've done quite a few of them now and been very happy with them. Ran into a couple guys at different fly-ins that have been pretty happy with them too. Uh, so there's our rudder. Simply slide, it'll slide in and key. Uh, it's just got that uh, simulated cloth look. Uh, it does actually have holes drilled all in it, uh, but they're under the covering so you can't see them. But for lightness, very nice to see. Um, this is your kind of bag of goodies. So there's your bomb. You got to put it together. But this is the bomb that hangs off the bottom uh, and it's got the little sling that would sling it down. So the way this worked on a real airplane, it was pretty cool. So when they were diving, if they let go of the bomb, it would just fall down and hit the prop. So on the real airplanes, it actually would drop on a pendulum that would bring it out and throw it past the propeller. Pretty neat on the real airplane. I'm not sure how that's uh, modeled in this, but. Uh, so we're gonna not use these. These are just the plain Jane metal landing gear to just have them sticking out. Uh, don't need those. Uh, all the gun details. So there's all your guns. Uh, tubing and hoses, because this is uh, gas or electric and it comes with the stuff to make it gas. There's your fuel tank. Uh, tires, uh, they look fine. Uh, they're not super squishy or anything. They're just foam wheels like we're used to. Uh, you could always upgrade those if you wanted to later. Um, We've got all our hardware, so screws, nuts and bolts, uh, collets, grub screws. Not going to open all these because I do not want to lose them. We're about to put it together. Uh, all kinds of little blocks. Not sure what they're going to be used for. This is this is your parts bag. I mean, realistically, uh, there's all your tailwheel hardware. Uh, there's the pins for the wings. I knew I'd see them in there somewhere. So that you put that in the wing and it keeps it from doing that floppy thing that you were seeing. Uh, it comes with all these nylon control horns. I wanted to see the horns, there they are. Uh, Lori said I've missed a question. Um, I don't, it's probably in the manual. Um, I don't know what 7,000 grams is in pounds. Can you do the conversion on Google? I'll tell you if that sounds right or not. If I had to guess, this is probably seven or eight pounds. Um, when it's going to be done, uh, get a clunk and then all of your what? That might be a fully loaded weight of 15 pounds. I doubt that's the, the empty weight. Uh, I don't have the answer to that. I'm sorry. Uh, as far as an empty weight without electronics in it. Uh, once I get done with it, I can easily weigh it, but uh, I didn't even see what we got this set up on. It's probably either going to be on 6S or 10S, though. Uh, 8S. Oh, okay. There you go. 8S. Plenty of room in the nose for this. You could go even bigger than that if you wanted. I tell you what, the 1600 uh, millimeter Corsair power system would look sweet in this airplane. Uh, I might have to see if that prop will fit on here somehow. Uh, anything else that I've missed? I don't think so. Got all our boxes open. Like I said, this little bitty stuff, I'm not going to open these right now because once again, I don't want to lose all this, but that's all your laser etched parts. Uh, I know some of this is going to be like, there's an antenna for some detailing. A lot of these rings and things are for inside the cockpit, uh, to dress it up. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to open these right now because I know that's going to be covered in the instructions when I go to put that together and I don't want to lose any of this stuff. Uh, it's also got a different motor mount uh, plate. Uh, this is probably going to be your electric motor mount. So normally the way this works is there's a uh, screw that comes out. You mount this on here and you put a nut on both sides and it holds it out there off the firewall a ways out because a gas motor is way longer. So you always have to make up that difference on electric. Uh, like I said, any other things? P38. 
Can y'all do an unboxing of the Nexa P38? It's on my list. It is one I want to do for sure. That one, and I really want to do the uh, Lysander from Black Horse. Uh, that one would be a really fun airplane and it's huge. And for guys that are getting in a little later, uh, just to show it again, here is the airplane setting in its uh, Ernst Mega Stand. And uh, we'll pull this off one more time so you can see that battery hatch. It is fully magnetic, so you just lift up straight and get it around all the little details. And there it is, nice large battery hatch. I'm gonna slide this guy out so I don't throw him in the floor when I pick this up here in just a second. But uh, yeah, lots of room up in the battery bay, as you can see. There's gonna be no issue squeezing batteries in here, especially if this is on 8S, it's gonna be super easy. You're gonna be able to get like two 5,000 4S's in here, no problem. Um, nice pilot figure, uh, all the details. Like I said, we've gotta cut a lot of the details out, uh, but it does come with the guns and everything that need to go in it, just like the real plane. Gonna really add a lot to it. I'll put him back in there. Here you go. That's G.I. Joe. Put that back on there. Just like so. Super excited to see this one fly. I know it's going to be a cool airplane. All right. Well, y'all are the best at unboxing and putting together and flying. We try, guys. You know, we. We're fellow RC pilots just like y'all, and we want to enjoy the models. I'm trying to figure out where to stand right now, where the airplane's not blocked in my face. But yeah, we truly do enjoy what we do, and we enjoy building and flying the models and getting to show them to you. And I'm, that makes it the easiest for us to inform a customer what they're going to expect when they see it. You know, uh, what you see is exactly what you get. I literally got this shipped into a friend of mine. Pull it out of the box. This is exactly how you'd get yours. Yeah, awesome. RC Flying Veteran, didn't see you earlier, but nice to see you in. It's Joey Lo. What a name. Yeah, Air Hammer, what's up, man? Do a foam biplane. One of these days, you'd never know. I was just trying to make sure I didn't miss any questions, guys. Well, guys, if you've uh, enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that like button. I think we're coming to the end of it. If there's no other questions, uh, it's been a lot of fun. Like I said, keep up with us on Instagram, Facebook, all those places. Uh, I'll try and kind of update you as we put this airplane together. Uh, I've got a lot of big builds going right now. Um, so I'm gonna just try and knock them all out as fast as I can. We're trying to get ready. Like I said, September, we're going to the Gathering of the Giants at Bomber Field in Texas. Uh, I'm not actually going as me from Motion RC. I'm just going as me, Wes, just to go hang out with the guys. I've always wanted to go to Bomber Field and see it. Uh, so me and Jerry are gonna be going to do that together. Lori's coming with us. Who knows, maybe it'll turn into a work trip. You never know. But uh, for anybody that's out in Texas, and has always wanted to meet us, there's where you're gonna be able to see us. Like I said, uh, we're gonna be there. It's in uh, Houston, Texas, if I remember correctly. It's funny, I grew up in Texas and, and like I said, we always heard about this event. I know my father's been to it and loved it. So that'll be a lot of fun. So hopefully the Dauntless will be there if we can get it done in time. Uh, and a couple other airplanes, I'll probably bring the Zero and the uh, P-47, you know, all the, if I have the, uh, Corsair up and flying and ready. Maybe it'll go with us. We'll have a lot of fun. Are you Googling it or something, or did somebody say it? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's outside of Houston. That's what I thought. New BEA Hawk. Nice. Well, guys, I think we've just about done it for the day. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, like I said, we'll do some updates as the... Uh, airplane comes together and keep you up to date. Uh, I know there was a lot of guys asking about uh, how to set up the reverse on our new airplanes that are coming with reverse. Uh, I did film a quick tip video to help all those people out. So that should be coming out maybe later this week or beginning of next week. Uh, I can't remember what the order of the content is. We do have a video every day of this week, uh, just like we do every week now. <laughs> we try and have one every single day. So, 
I hope y'all have been enjoying it. If, if you ever have a quick tip idea, make sure you let us know over on Facebook, Hobby Squawk, wherever you want. Say, hey, I'd really like to know how to do this. Now, try and keep it, of course, Motion RC brand specific. Don't ask me how to program a Fry Sky whatever transmitter, but we don't sell. I'm not going to do a video on that. But uh, if there's something that you see that y'all would like to know about more on uh, these airplanes that would be helpful, let us know. That's, that's what I'm here for is to help you guys. So, well, anyway, we've had a good day. Uh, I'm going to cut this off. We're going to go have lunch, go pick Skip up from the babysitter. And uh, like always, whether it's land, sea or air, Motion RC has what you want. See you in the next video, guys. Bye.